Hi, everybody. I mean, I'm talking to nobody at this point, let's be honest, but I'm still saying hello, everybody. What are we doing today? Today, we're gonna make a, a crunchy bok choy salad. We're gonna use, I already cut up my bok choy. These were the two that I, I left the saddest pieces to not cut up to show you. Uh, it could be any type of lettuce though. And so today I actually mixed it with arugula and cherry tomatoes because that's what I have. And the other day we made it and I had it with uh, pickled onions and we put some leftover meat. It was really, really tasty. So bok choy, this would work great with kale, this would work great with cabbage, something a little bit on the sturdier side. It works great with uh, romaine, which I did. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna take ramen noodle packets, beat them up, saute them in a pan, Get it all crunchy with some nuts and some spices, and it's gonna be tasty. So that's what's happening. Is anybody cooking along with me? Anybody at all? Can I hear a yes? Well, you can watch. So, hmm. I'm streaming to Facebook and YouTube live at the same time right now. Yeah, you're watching, totally, Patrick. Thanks, don't have bok choy. Yeah, but you can get anything. Already made dinner, no. All right, Alex, sweet, where are you? You're making it, love it. Melinda, welcome. Just watching with some tea, rock and roll. Okay, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna point the cameras down for a second, we'll do a little chopping, and then I'll, I'll bring it back up, okay? So everybody just bear with me right here. Hopefully this all works okay. So we'll get that right there. Those are the Facebook people. And now the YouTube people. The YouTube people are coming down. Okay, so here we go. So the bok choy, really, really simple. We're just gonna you know, cut off any nub that we have and you're just gonna strike through it like this. I have wet paper underneath, but it's not holding. And I'm putting it in my bowl. So there we have the bok choy. I have some arugula, like I said, I've got it underneath here, you can see. And it works great with romaine as well. Um, now, I happen to have some cherry tomatoes, so why not? You can just come in like this, and you can come in like that. And then you get four pieces, and you can throw that right in. Boom, 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 boom. All right, there's four pieces of that. Pretty sweet, awesome. Okay, now, scallions. Take the ends off, and then we'll just do the choo-choo train right through, okay? And if you want to get on a bias, you can turn the scallions to their side, and that works pretty well. How's everybody's quarantine going, by the way? I'm on day 35. I can't even believe I'm saying that. I'm having a great time. I'm with a good group of people cooking a lot. So I'm pleased about that. And today I managed to get a little outdoor fresh air, which was lovely. Hey, Lucy Gargon. Hi from Malaysia. I went once, it was wonderful. I love all of your foods. All right, we're gonna move to the ramens now. So, we open it up. San Diego. Yeah, I have no idea what I'm in either, Jessica. Hi from East London. South Africa, that's a place. Cool. Week five in San Diego. A lot of people in San Diego, I'm into it. Okay, so, <clears throat> two packs of ramen. And we're gonna deposit the flavor packets in our <clears throat> packet drawer. Save them for later. We just want the noodles. now. Momofuku Ando, he's the guy that invented this. He's the one that figured out if you fry ramen noodles, then they will preserve themselves really nicely. And that's great. I mean, this is the food that we all had in college, right? Because it, it, it re-cooks up. <clears throat> Man, I ate an almond and it's stuck in my throat. It cooks up really, really quick. But what's great about it is because it's a fried noodle, it's already crunchy. However, it's got that sort of chemical-y taste right now. So if we cook that off, you see what I'm saying? Then we get this crispy, crunchy topping that's amazing. So with a frying pan or a meat pounder or whatever you want, just start doing this. And I leave the bag open over here so I'm not 
popping the back. Beautiful. All right. Let's put that in a frying pan. It's cold, don't worry. I didn't put a hot frying pan on a plastic cutting board. Now this is awesome because you can make this ahead of time and it'll hold pretty well for a couple of days as long as you have some paper towel and stuff. All right, so we've got some pieces that are a little bit big here, no problem. Now, almonds, walnuts, peanuts, cashews, almonds, whatever you got. These are sliced. If they're not sliced, don't worry. You could chop them up a little bit. Um, I have some sesame seeds that I just bought today, so I know that I have to peel this open. All right. Get the sesame seeds in there. And you know, I'm going like, maybe like this much. Delaware, Ohio, thanks Diane, appreciate it. Queensland, Australia, super cool. Thanks for watching guys, hope you're doing well. And I'd love to make it to Arkansas. So we got some of that, and now it's like, it's really up to you. I got onion powder and I got garlic salt. Either one could be good. Deb's Meister, New Zealand, what's going on? Thanks for watching, appreciate it. I'm gonna do that just because I want a little salt. Oh, that was the onion powder. Oh man, this is like the movie Knives Out. I just mixed up the two formulas. <laughs> okay, so that's that, and that's it. We've got, we'll mix it around a little, and we're gonna put this on the stove, okay? And then I'm gonna bring you back to me. I'm just gonna go nice and low. Actually, I'm not gonna bring you back to me. Let's make our dressing real quick, okay? So here's the deal. It's got a lot of sugar in it. Um, normally you have to heat sugar up to make it dissolve, but I think that if you use like a quarter cup or a little bit less than that, this much in a deli container. It'll emulsify if you shake it up the last second. I, I don't think that, I know that, because I've done it many, many times. So, um, here we are. Can, any, can anyone tell me what the ratios are? Because both of my devices right now are streaming to you. Does anybody know how much soy sauce I'm supposed to have? I feel like it's equal parts soy sauce and rice wine vinegar and the pretty small amounts. Did I just see someone from, oh, Chile, rock and roll. All right, so I'm gonna go with like three tablespoons of rice wine vinegar. And again, guys, just feel it. So whatever I wrote you is just a guideline. So we're gonna start here. I have tamari, I don't have any soy sauce. So we'll go with that here. I'm gonna put the same amount as I did the rice wine vinegar. Nice. And we're gonna get some olive oil in there. And we're gonna shake it up and we're gonna taste it. I'm gonna save a little bit of oil, because I'm running out here. A little bit of oil for my ramen noodles. It'll help fry them. So, put a top on it. And I just want you to see, you can kind of see the ratios there. Hey Janine from Oregon. Hey Letzia from Brazil. Obrigado por watching. Two tablespoons of soy, thanks Dan, Dana. All right, so we got that. And I'm just gonna have a little, I'm literally just gonna taste the dressing. So you can see the sugar dissolved pretty nicely. And let's just see where we're at. And we're, we're tasting for salt, we're tasting for acid, and we're gonna adjust. Woo! Very sweet. Good on the acid front and good on the salty front. So how do I make it less sweet? I add more of everything else. That's exactly what I'm gonna do. So I'm gonna put more rice wine vinegar. And I'm gonna put a little more tamari. Hey K from Indiana. What's it? All right, so that's where we're at. I'm gonna bring you guys back up here now. Here we go. Hi, very good, welcome back. What's up, Basma from Egypt? Thanks for watching, how cool. Love this technology. Hope you're safe. Okay, camera is back up, both of them. Oh, the evening sunshine is coming through. 
Okay, so we've got our dressing. Now, this is what's happening over here. Eventually, you're gonna smell. It's gonna get like ramen-y. That means you wanna put oil in it. So I'm actually gonna crank this up a bit. Kia ora, sono. Sono di sotto dieci. Perfecto, grazie. Put a little oil here. I happen to have some unflavored coconut oil and in a pinch that'll work. So I like to over oil this and then I, I drain it on a paper towel. That's kind of what happens. Albany, what's going on? Yeah, the sun is bright right now. It's six o'clock where I am. So I'm literally just waiting now. We're having burgers and this salad tonight. That's what my dinner is. Uh, it's, listen, again, you've got a very sweet and tangy dressing, and as far as the lettuce goes, I think you wanna go with stuff that holds up well. So, Miss Bubbles, is that you? Oh, wow, that's funny, it's not Miss, Miss Bubbles. And anything that is gonna hold up, any sturdy green. A romaine, because it's got that spine. Bok choy, cabbage, kale, remove the stem. I think those are all gonna work well. Okay. Um, and it's really sweet and it's filling, and that makes it so good. And again, leftover steak, leftover burgers, put it in there. Chicken, uh, figs would go delicious with this. We're almost in fig season, not quite, but we're there. What's up, Utah? I'm, I'm on Idaho, so I'm touching you. Vegas, Guam. Yeah. I didn't get this timing right, did I? My dressing is all ready. My salad is all ready. And I should have started with the ramen noodles. But sometimes, you know, especially in day 35 of quarantine. I know you can all relate, because we're all in the same boat here. Sarah, North Dakota, what's going on? Okay, so I'm looking for color, and as you can see, maybe just around the edges of a couple of the almonds, there's some color happening, but nothing else. And I smell it, hardcore right now. So here's the move, a little paper towel, on a paper, on, not on a paper plate, on a plate plate. And then what we'll do is we'll lay this out on there. And just like your mom used to dab the pizza to remove the oil, which is totally okay in New York and totally unacceptable in Italy, uh, we're gonna try to drain that oil, but we need it to get it extra crispy. <sighs> Melissa from Alabama, Vicky from, I lost it. Nikas from Georgia, Idaho, Kayla, Texas, what's going on? Catherine Ray, thanks for watching, I'm happy. Very, very happy that the recipes have helped out. I think they're good. Azan from Canada, San Diego. Again, is anybody cooking along with me? Call it out if you are. Okay, now we got some color happening. See that? And there's even a little bit of smoke coming. Nice. So I'm gonna bring this guy down a little bit because, you know, I was trying to speed things up and now I don't wanna burn. Austin, haven't been there yet, but I'm dying to go. I have been to Dallas. Texas is nice. Big cars, very big cars. I wish I had more information for you guys right now, I'm sorry. I thought this recipe would be really, really easy, and it is, but I got the timing wrong. Um, let me tell you about all the things I've been cooking while in quarantine, because I highly recommend you do the same. One of them is the tart. If you haven't done the tart yet, man, it's so easy. You get some puff pastry, you just roll it out after you defrost it, and that's it. You put it in a sheet tray and you put whatever you want on it. 15 minutes in the oven, and it is like so delicious. I've been doing sliced tomatoes, tarragon, and salt. Awesome. Uh, we did super thin potatoes that were already cooked from the day before. That was delicious. I did some asparagus. That was awesome. Um, we've done carrots. We even did like cream cheese and something else. That was good, so you could go the savory route also. Really liking those because they're easy and quick to make. Uh, today I made bagels, 
I sort of combined a New York recipe and a Montreal recipe. Uh, I'm at altitude, so nothing's rising nicely, but these bagels came out great. So I increased the hydration, let them rise for 24 hours, and then I boiled them in honey water. That's what they do in Montreal. Uh, in New York, it's, it's like a malt barley that they throw in there. That's what gives it that bubbly outside that has a lot of color and is really nice. But the honey water does the same thing. A little bit of sugar, and then you bake them in the oven. See what's going on? Getting some uneven browning. I'm gonna push the pan off to the side a tiny bit there. What does tarragon taste like? It tastes like tarragon. What does the color blue look like? I'm not picking on you, I'm just saying. How do you describe something without tasting it? Uh, sort of minty in a, minty and basil-y in a very French way, I guess I would say. <sighs> Williamsburg, Virginia, what's up? My grandparents used to live there. They are no longer here, but I have been many times. Frankie, planning to travel to Chile one day. I was just in Peru. I think that borders it to the north, right? And I've been to Argentina. So you guys are next on my list. I wanna do some of that summer skiing, which is actually in the winter time. Well, winter time for me, you know what I'm saying. So make the tart. Ah, you shouldn't make bagels, that's a pain in the neck. Pastas, pastas are great. Lentils, so good. We did a doll here that I recommend. All right, this is done. How do I know it's done? Because some of the little bits are burning. Can you see? Um, and there's a sizzle, can you hear it? Hi Lucy, thank you for watching. All right, so let me show you what's going on here. I'm gonna have to choke up on this thing a little and it's pretty hot, so we're gonna do it this way. Okay. So right onto the paper towel, drain that excess oil. And I'm, you know, I'm not pouring it all at once because I want to try and get a nice even layer. Okay. Ah. So it's sizzling, it's really cute. So, one of our very first episodes of Struggle Meals two years ago was ways to use ramen that aren't soup. This falls squarely into that category, but we didn't do this. Okay. Mm. You know what it's like? Croutons. Semi. Thank you, Blue Gypsy. I saw what it said, but it just faded away. I appreciate you sending people my way. It's like uh, salty, crispy croutons, uh, better than ones that you buy at a store. And it doesn't have to have an Asian vibe, although this isn't Asian, because it's onion powder, garlic powder, and nuts. The Asian flavors are in, in the dressing that we made. Yeah. Anywhere you'd put croutons, you could put this. That's the point I'm trying to make. So. I'm gonna make a little plate right here. I've got all this dressing. Thank you, Amy. Charlie, I'd love to make it to Australia. Can you book me a flight? Are they flying there right now? Frankie giving ASMR. Yeah, all right, here it is. Okay, everybody, put your headphones on. Not corn season yet. So, I made a huge pot of this because I am serving this with the burgers that are being grilled outside right now. So I'm gonna pour some of this dressing in here. I'm gonna do the rest when I get into the other room. And I'm gonna use my hand. When I worked Garmanger at a restaurant in New York City, which I hope makes it through this, uh, all the salad was mixed by hand. It's a lot easier, obviously with a glove on, but it's just so much easier. And you can build salads much taller when you use your hand than like with tongs. So, you know, get yourself some gloves. I'm sure you already have some. Get a couple tomatoes on there, something like that. It's nice, right? I'm gonna rinse this. And I 
I, I can't hold up both plates, I'm sorry. I'm putting the crunchies right on top of the salad right now. That's what's happening. All right, so there it is, complete with the Struggle Meals imported plate. <laughs> Thank you, Tasha, for having everybody sit down and wash me. I appreciate it. I hope you guys are getting good recipes more than anything out of it. I'll put a little more dressing on it. I know this isn't like mixed in very well, but I'm just doing it. Oh my God. So the dressing is the salt. Do you do a pasta cooking class? You know, would you guys be interested in like a Zoom class where we did a cooking class? I think that'd be fun. Mm. Mm hmm. Works with arugula too. Delicious. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. So good. This is a great way to, to use up ramen also. I mean, probably cheaper than croutons and it looks interesting. Mm. Doll baby. I will leave it up, don't worry. Cool, maybe I'll do a Zoom class. Follow me over on Instagram at Frankie Cooks. Anybody who isn't, F-R-A-N-K-I-E. Um, and I'll, I'll put out some feelers there. Or maybe we could do some Zoom classes. Um, I've done two already with some companies. They've gone really well. People cooked along. And, and you're able to, you know, uh, talk back rather than type, which is, it's kind of hard for me to read two screens at once with all this stuff. I love Brazilian food, yes. Okay. So that's it. I didn't get the tripods right, so this is me standing. So I have to do this, just so everybody knows. Again, uh, check out tastemade.com. We've got free, all the episodes, all the written recipes of Struggle Meals. They're totally applicable at a time like this. Canned food, dried food, all that stuff. Get over there if you're looking for recipes. Um, they're super affordable and they're easy to make. And it makes me happy when you watch them. So that's good. Uh, number two, Facebook people. If you haven't subscribed to youtube.com slash struggle meals, please do. We've got that going on. And YouTube people, if you haven't subscribed to facebook.com slash struggle meals, do it. And if you go deeper into Facebook, we've got the Struggle Meals private group where people are sharing recipe ideas and asking what to do and getting inspiration from each other. So I highly recommend that. Today, what did we make? We made a salad with a sweet dressing and a crispy, crunchy topping made of literally ramen noodles. These are like croutons, think of them that way. And go forth and make them. It's delicious. I hope you all continue to stay healthy if you've suffered any loss. I'm sorry, I, I'm, I feel for you. If you're part of the health community and today's your day off, thank you for what you do. Thank you for spending a little time with me. This is an easy recipe that you could do. And uh, that's it. Thanks everybody. Have a great night. And I'll see you soon. Maybe, maybe we can make this a Sunday night thing. Cool? Kendra, Kylie, Holly. Thanks guys. Jamie, LA. I'm gonna go have dinner now. Boop.